We spend 90% of our lives indoors, but the buildings in which we live, work and play have become a big part of the problem of climate change, accounting for 39% of the world's energy-related CO2 emissions. That is more than all global transport emissions combined. 11% of these emissions are attributed to buildings before we even step inside them, through the manufacturing and transport of materials and our construction process. So how do we reduce these carbon emissions from the built environment? It's about addressing the entire building life cycle. A building's carbon footprint is intertwined with all stages of its existence, from design and construction to building use, recycling and demolition. For example, building design can integrate green spaces for trees to absorb CO2, or on-site renewable sources like solar panels. Building use accounts for 28% of global energy-related carbon emissions, most of it from heating, cooling and lighting. But the impact of buildings carries on even after they're gone, through the environmental impacts of deconstruction. At the same time, buildings can be repurposed, recycled and upcycled into green buildings of the future. Today, 91% of us breathe polluted air on a daily basis, air that fails to meet World Health Organization guidelines for pollutant exposure. As we face the challenges of COVID-19, healthy and sustainable buildings have become more important than ever before. Through a united effort in following new building strategies, environmental impact can be reduced to build a better future. <laughs>